The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by Light Panels, makers of the world-renowned Emmy Award-winning green-friendly LED lighting systems. Check them out at lightpanels.com. Derek, welcome to the Digital Scene here at Adobe Max 2009. Thanks for having me. Now you're with uh, Conductor? Absolutely. Could you tell us a little bit about Conductor? Well, Conductor is a content management system uh, geared to help designers deploy CMS to their clients. So it's actually three things. It's software as a service, so no need to set up servers. It's a Dreamweaver extension, so designers can stay inside the Adobe workflow that they're used to, okay. enabling them to not have to learn new technology or new code and they just deploy right from inside of Dreamweaver. And then to the content owner, or the business owner for, in the usually the case, it's the a really cool air application that allows them to take the, in the design that the designer's given them and manage their site in a very seamless way uh, via air, which allows us to do cool things like drag and drop from the desktop, uh, local image optimization, and some stuff that really is uh, an issue with content management as a whole. So within you know, a couple of minutes, um, walk us through the workflow. We've got a website. We've got a client that needs to manage that website. The website is publicly hosted already. Yeah. And the designer is managing the site through Dreamweaver. So what's the first step? Give, give us a workflow. Well, overview. usually clients come along and they say, I want to manage my content now. So the designer says, right now he's, he has very few options. He has a lot of options if he wants to hire a developer or learn code. But in reality, there's very few that allows him to just stay inside of Dreamweaver and quickly deploy within, say, an hour uh, CMS. Right. So what we do is we enable the designer to stay inside of Dreamweaver, add our extension to their application, being able to connect to our software as a service, and to be able to push their designs to that server, which reads their regions they've defined. So regions would be regions of content, regions of forms, and even menus. And all that's database driven. Once they do that, then the content is inherent and the designers or the end user is able to edit that in the uh, air application. And the content on the regions that were uh, designed or were, were selected, yeah. the content is stored in your database? Right now, yes, and then we have actually a service coming out in a, in a little bit, which is actually pretty new news publicly, is to be able to push to external services. So it'll take an instance of what the system creates and actually okay. create an HTML file and, and be able to host that externally. Got it. So a developer goes into Dreamweaver, selects a file, selects the regions, pushes it to your service, and now the client can go ahead and update the, the areas that you've allowed. Absolutely. How do you synchronize back? Um, let's say the designer goes back and makes to change to that page. Yep. Um, what happens? Do they need to resync with your server? Well, if they're if they're doing a lo local change and uh, updating right. a template, for example, yes, they should be able to push that content and it'll inherit the the existing templates that are there. I see. Yeah. Now, at this point, you, the the site has to be hosted ultimately in your server, right? Yeah. Right now, it, and that's actually. It sounds like a negative thing, but most designers just want to be able to push it. And the SMEs sure. don't really care where they're hosted as long as it's, it's sure. up. Uh, but there is some cases where it is, so that's why we're in the future going to be offering that service. Okay, yeah, no, no, it's definitely not a negative thing, but it's yeah. something that people need to understand. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, and what's the cost for this? Right now, uh, $20 a month, including hosting. So okay. no setup fee, it's free to designers, so there's no cost to buy the extension and to be trained or anything like that. And right now we have uh, 3,000 beta testers using it. We just launched our being able to put actual like commercial sites live two days ago. And we have uh, probably about 30,000 test sites on the system right now. So we're looking for designers primarily to be able to try it out. So we're, even, we're going to be offering our services of free to answer questions as we go along. Uh, but ultimately, we sell and give tools to designers to be able to allow them to deploy it to their local sites, which is usually, in every city, there's a lot of designers that have their kind of local clients, and that's usually right. the, the norm we're going after. Right. Now that's $20 per month per user? Per, 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 per site. Per unlimited, site, unlimited, unlimited users, templates. Unlimited templates, unlimited pages, unlimited users. Got it. Uh, at the end of the day, the designer just, when the, when the sites push live, we, we start charging 20 bucks a month. Got so it's it. usually comparable to what they're already paying for hosting, yep. and the site has CMS in it. Right, the CMS portion. Okay, Derek, Absolutely. if people want to find out more about it? Conductor.net. Thank you, Derek. Thank you very much.